We're playing scenario two of episode two of After the Storm. This scenario is called The Heart Forest, and we've got some lovely foresty music in the background. There were very few friendly faces amongst the villagers. From what I heard during my stay, they feel forsaken by the Grand Council, which has been kept too preoccupied by the war against the Chaos Empire to heed the demands of the civilians. The unforgiving weather and the growing scarcity of resources to sustain their settlement has made these men and women increasingly bitter about the state of affairs. I can't help but wonder how the Alliance has fared in battle ever since we left their lands. Frankly, when the village chief said capable, I was expecting someone better. Let it be a grave mistake to underestimate us, lass. Life around here ain't easy these days, and we have to be prepared to deal with anything. I'm well aware of that, having lived in the wilderness myself before. But these are mostly novices and untrained youths. The chief wouldn't want to send off veterans on the chance that our home was attacked again. Anyway, we better get going. Look out for the trolls that control this road. They hunt unwary travellers and eat them alive. Alright, friendly ally, Durban, a level 1 poacher. You're going to be not great against trolls because trolls are weak to things like fire and arcane and you don't do those kinds of damage. You do pierce, which is rubbish against trolls. Alright, and oh, let's not forget your 4-2 blade attack, which is also rubbish in general and rubbish against trolls. Okay, welcome to the team, Durban. So... What have I got to recruit now? Okay, I can now recruit poachers and thugs. Um, so I didn't really need to worry about leveling all those dudes up to thugs last time round. We've got 275 gold. That seems good. Sorry, I'm going to be a bit snuffly today. The hay fever is getting to me. So then, where do we start? It seems like if we're going to be fighting trolls... Then we need units that do damage quickly, so the foot pads are out because they're too weak. Um, so that really means that sprites and thugs are going to be our best option. We've got a few units we can recall as well, but um, let's have some ruffians first to act as cannon fodder. I should have looked, what's the actual objective? Reach the top edge of the map. Okay, so I don't actually have to kill anyone. These cheaper thugs are going to be, they're going to be cheaper than recalling units that I previously summoned and leveled. So the only people who are really worth leveling, worth keeping here, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, a strong resilient thug is always good to have around. This one's resilient and quick, which is also in some circumstances a decent combination. Um, so they're basically the sprites and the outlaws and the fire fairies are the ones that I could really do with recalling. We'll have a few foot pads because what they allow us to do is scout a bit more effectively because they're faster. So I will have them, even though they're not going to be great against these against these trolls. They do reasonable damage, impact damage. All right, let's just shoot up here with the linear and scout. All right, nothing doing. anything else over here? Nothing yet. And up here. Okay, there we have a falcon. And as we know, falcons like to attack me for no reason. Get dive-bombed by birds. They should have a ranged attack that's just bird shit. That just shits on your head. Alright, 215 gold left. We will have more thugs. I've already got a loyal poacher. I don't probably need any more. Maybe just in case there are enemies other than trolls, I will have one more poacher. And then I'll recall this sprite. And then I'm going to have couple of new ones, because uh, these sprites are probably going to be dealing the most damage against trolls. You go forward into the forest, and we click enter. 
right. Still nothing to be seen. You're fast. You go around here and scout. Okay, there's a nice little house. But nothing else. Okay, there's the trolls. Trolls are slow, so we don't need to worry about them just yet. I think we'll try and go for one more castle full of units. I can't afford anything more than that anyway if I've got recalls. And then see how it goes. Oh, the hay is bad today. Ugh. Sorry. Okay, I don't have any thugs. I kind of want more thugs. Uh, I don't have enough to recall three more units, but I'm going to recruit another thug. And then I've got enough for one more recall. If I want one. I mean... Yeah, it's not really worth... I mean, quick and intelligent is just a bad combination of traits. It's, it's okay in early game, but... It doesn't really do anything for me at this point. The ruffians are not worth it, not worth the money at all. So, Kirin, the strong, resilient thug, I think, is the only person who actually warrants recalling here. And then I'm going to use the last of my money to recruit another sprite. And hopefully that will be enough for us. Oops. Okay, there's three trolls there. Oh no, stop it, don't go anywhere. And then here you come forward, because you're going to be good against trolls too, with your fiery fire attacks. And am I going to get attacked from the north too? I guess we'll find out. Right now it's the daytime, so it would be a good time to fight trolls, but it won't be the daytime for much longer. So maybe I'll push over here with my sprites and fire fairies and see if any of them want to engage. They can fight Alinea, I mean that's fine. She's hench. So if I put you there, hopefully these guys will be baited. I've got a fire fairy here in the background. Now the annoying thing about fire fairies is that they look almost identical to sprites. The uh, fire fairy graphics are not that distinct. So I'm gonna have to remember have to remember that that unit is both more valuable and more powerful. And I'll bring you guys up here as well, just in case you want to join in the fun. And one thug, because why not? You're quick anyway. You progress straight up the main road. You go and grab this house. You guys. Okay, there's more trolls. You can come and attack here, and uh, hopefully the forces I have at my disposal are enough to deal with one troll, hopefully even in a single turn. The thugs, unfortunately, are really bad at moving through forest. What about you? What are you going to do? Just... Uh, maybe delve back into the forest a bit and then you can help out with this fight should it come to that. You guys are gonna both probably get stuck on a linear. Don't have any other healers, won't have any other healers. Are you gonna go round are you? Alright. Well, it seems pointless fighting you if you're gonna do that. Are you just trying to get my villagers or what? I'll take that. And now it's night time. Now I've got to be careful with my elite, uh, with my loyal unit that has to survive. 
So you're already a bit weakened. I'll use you, and you're quick and intelligent again. So your sacrificial lamb material. Wow. Okay, there's a lot of trolls here. All right, not super effective. Good, good, good. You come in here and get the kill. The sooner I can level you up, the less danger there is of you getting brutalized. Okay, so that's the fight to the north. What about down here to the south? It's still dusk, and I think I'm going to engage and just try and eliminate these trolls who are trying to sneak around my flank. And I can do so from the forest, so I'm in a pretty sweet position for that. The trolls are tough, you've got to remember that. But Alinea is even tougher. So try and use the fire fairy on this northernmost one. Okay, reasonable, not fantastic amount of damage. Um, now I've only I only have two more units that can attack that one, including you. So you come round here, and if you die, you die. What? Okay, you suck. So that means that I'm going to have to bring in some people who are a bit stronger. Like Alinea. Even you! Even you betray me, Alinea. You can't get the kill. Oh dear. But at least this one's slowed. So, what am I going to do with the rest of these guys? I want to keep the fire fairies in the forest the sprites in the forest. I'm going to try and kill. You're resilient, that's handy. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not super chuffed about putting you in range of both these guys. I mean, they can't, they shouldn't kill you. They can, they have to be very lucky. Um, unlike me. <laughs> I'm getting some pretty appalling luck here. Yeah, this isn't great. You need three hits now to kill it. Alright, you're the only one of this sorry lot who can actually get a kill. And now you're pretty vulnerable, which is not ideal. I'm going to maybe ignore you. Bring one fire fairy up here to help, because this fight's going to get pretty bloody pretty fast. All my strong units are down south, so these guys are the ones who need support. And these guys, you know, regardless of whether they manage to kill one sprite next turn, I should hopefully be able to mop them up after that. And then they won't get these villages, which is uh, obviously something I'm a bit concerned about. Okay. Well, this guy didn't last. And nor did he hit anything. They do want to come south, they do want to attack a linear apparently, and now it's night time so my fire fairies are going to be extra ineffective. Let's see if I can use the weak one, the, the one with experience, to kill... There we go. Okay. You're doing well for yourself. Now I want to mop up this one with people who... Let's 
It's not so much mopping. This is a tough one. This is a strong, resilient troll. So I'm going to need to be a bit, a bit careful. So I'll use my fire fairy. I'll put him in the forest. Put her in the forest. Uh, Alright. You come round and just attack him. Okay, you got the kill. Nice. A couple you can reach here, so this sprite might tempt you south if I put this sprite there, Toriel. But I think... I should be able to kill this one. Yeah, it would be embarrassing if I didn't kill this one now. And you're all too slow to reach. If there's a troll leader over here, it's um, kind of tempting to take them out on the way north. Because if I, I don't want to keep pumping out random trolls that are going to try and come down here and steal my villages. And already, my income is pretty terrible as it is. In fact, it's very terrible as it is. I need to do something about that. So let's keep going and see what happens. There is only one good thing about poachers, and that is that they have a ranged attack that can be used to deal damage from a distance. Now, obviously that was useless, <laughs> but sometimes they do better than that. You probably best get yourself killed. Not like that. Get yourself killed. You're resilient and intelligent. You can go around the back. You probably also will die. Yeah, you definitely will die. But now. Okay, that was kind of weak. Alright, some more experience for Durvan. And now I can try and get this sprite out of trouble. <laughs> that also was pretty poor. Where's my... Oh, there's my strong resilient thug. He's holding up the rear because he's a bit slow. And you don't quite get the final hit in. Alright, so I'll use one of my ruffians to finish the job. Or not. I'll use another of my ruffians to finish the job. Not great. You're too slow to reach anyone, but the three of you can come in and uh, deal some damage next turn. You will all get um, get hits on you in return, so it's not the end of the world. <clears throat> okay. Where do you want to park your butt? Maybe here, so that I can... so that... I mean, you're going to die anyway, but if you want to come and pointlessly attack a, a footpad in a forest, then that's fine by me. Especially an intelligent, strong footpad in a forest. Oh. Alright, down you go. guy survived. Well, there's a surprise. Okay, now let's roll up from the south. I'm a little bit worried that there are going to be more trolls over this... over in this castle that I can't see, but it doesn't look like there are. Is that a keep? A um, place I can recruit from? 
Uh, it might be. Well, I don't have any gold, so it's uh, immaterial. You come forward and burn. Burn, baby, burn! Yep, you're definitely not at the top end of your burniness capacities right now. You can, you can, you're good on mountains, so you go there. Yeah, okay. You're setting a good example for the rest of these folks. Ah, oh, there's the troll leader. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to do a drive-by killing on this guy. Oh, I thought you weren't going to get it. Hmm, uh, you're a sprite. Elinia, you come around here. And then you come up here. And now... Four speed kills to my poacher. Fortunately, Durvan is resilient and strong, which is uh, why he's perhaps not the worst unit I've had to babysit in these campaigns. Um, you could go around the back into the, into the forest. I think that's probably the best bet. <laughs> nice kill. Can I lure this troll leader out? Maybe if I put a nice weak foot pad there, or even this guy. This guy can't reach, I need to kill the... Uh... Oh, you can get into fight, that's nice. Alright, great. That shouldn't be too hard now. You try and get a level. Good, good. So that means now that you can reach this spot and the troll leader will hopefully come out of his keep and kill you. You come to me, I don't want to go that way just yet. Um, you come down here. You want to go onto the house to get some health. You go there. There we go. And now you can come down here and get ready to help out. All right. <laughs> Troll leader doesn't want to come out to play. Elinia can go into this forest. Rip don't like humans on his base. We smash them. <laughs> yep, you just smashed that guy, all right. And I don't actually have that many other units that are in range, other than this one sprite, and I could get quite nastily uh, sling attacked. Well, let's hope not. <laughs> Never leave anything to hope in Wesnoth. No one else useful can reach at all. Oh, you can reach, okay. Okay, please go for the weak foot pad rather than for the sprite that has some experience. That would definitely be my preferred option here. You can come over here, you can come over here. Are you going to run away? You could, but you've got nowhere to go really. And I'm faster than you, so it's fine. Fire Fairy comes in. Full Malkeshar on this troll. Excellent. 
you go and get that house. And the rest of you can start to press north. Looks like a clearing up ahead. Uh, you two need some healing, really, before you do anything else. So you go and sit on this building. Uh, you, not so much. But I don't want to... If there's anything that's... I, I, I kind of feel like... Also, I may be remembering from previous uh, playthroughs that uh, something happens when you go up here. So I'm not going to go there just yet. Just going to get people in position. Oh, there's another troll, okay. Uh, oh, and you! Oh, bless. There's gold on that troll's base as well. He's sitting on a big pile of gold. Okay, so now he's going to kill one of my sprites, I think, but... Uh, uh, bastard. And he summoned a troll before he died. That big troll was hoarding a considerable amount of gold in these ruins. Got your gold! <laughs> Alright, you're not quite dead, which means that I can feed some experience to someone. Potentially even you. Uh, but no, I think... Um, These guys can deal more damage, so I want to use them to kill the normal trolls. And maybe... You're intelligent and strong, that's not a bad combination for a footpad. So maybe I can use you to kill Wreck. Wreck dying, and don't know why. Well, you shouldn't send random dudes out to attack me. Okay, we've got another fire fairy. And our income is looking better now. How oh yeah. I was gonna say, how have we got so much gold all of a sudden? We just got it through standing on that on that on that spot. Okay. A strong resilient outlaw friend can go there. You come up here and shoot this troll whelp. Oh here is some commotion ahead. Drop everything you're carrying with you, gal, and we may spare your pretty neck. We don't have time for this. <clears throat> we can't just leave that poor girl at their mercy. We must help her. <sighs> of course, that's what I was planning to do anyway. <clears throat> Save Alina from the pundits. And we have Alina, who is a civilian, level 0 with a 2-2 club attack. Are you any good in forests? Not really, so the trick is just going to be to run you away as fast as possible, I hope. Okay, you guys are pretty speedy, got to be careful there. I can whack this, uh, this ruffian in the way to protect. still want to kill this... Still want to kill this troll whelp though. Maybe now is not the time. You two at the back are going to be too slow. Okay. So we'll put the fire fairy. Put you there. Put you in the woods here. You in the woods here. And I think now. We should be more or less safe from these dudes.
<laughs> oh, interesting. You're going to go and attack the troll. Haha, <laughs> I like that. So, okay, the uh, these blue units decide that uh, rather than the person they've been chasing, this troll is in fact the uh, BBEG, and so they're going to attack it. So I can use my Fire Fairy to hopefully clear out the one that's in the forest. Wow, that, that's a new low. Five consecutive misses from a unit with 70% to hit. I think in all my days of Wesnoth playing, I haven't quite hit that low before. Um, you can melee attack this troll. Okay, it's almost dead. Can Durvan do the business? No, I think it's too. It's not the right time of day for him to be the person who, who who's best for this situation. So maybe I'll just use this normal poacher instead. And by instead, I mean as well. All right, Durvan is now a trapper. Which is a unit that's actually worth having. And now, the trick will be... Again, um, one of these guys. You're intelligent and resilient, you're not quite as valuable. I'll have you go one-on-one -on -one with this intelligent quick thug. Well, that went better for you than it did for me. Uh, I want to get rid of the thief, because thieves can do irritating backstab. <laughs> nice work. I'm tempted even for Elena, the civilian, to, uh, to come in here. Um, can I make that work? I kind of feel like I can. But yeah, no. uh, since you have to not die, I think it's perhaps too, it's perhaps foolish to. Great, right. Now things are a bit more open. Ah, oh, you did a bang up job. Fantastic. And now you. Got the so there's just two more footpads over here, and they'll probably try and kill Rugwira and the Ruffian. And if one of them fails to do so, uh, he will survive. So this is a good situation. You guys want to rock up to the north. Go straight through the forest, because you're quick like that. You're good in the forest anyway. As is Alinea. And you, I uh, really want some health, so I'll perch you on this village for now. As for you, just go in the forest, because if Durvan dies, it's over. That can't happen. There we go, we've got a new thug or footpad. Quick and resilient, I think, thug. Let's play Punch the Poacher. Alright, Fire Fairy time. You go around. Oh, thank you for saving my life, sir. I'll be forever grateful. 
Is there anything I could do to repay you? Hmm, actually, it's this lass here who is leading us. She's the Lady Legend... <laughs> Fuck that up. Um, she's the Legendary Lady of Light. Oh, I see. I beg your pardon, my lady. May I ask what business brings a young girl like you to such a dangerous location alone? What's your name, anyway? I'm Elena of Dalbloom, from the eastern border. It's a very tiny village, so you may not have heard of it before. I was sent on a message. Uh, I was sent on a mission to deliver an important message to the Grand Council of the... Sure, we also need to deliver our own messages to them. I would strongly suggest that you join us. It's a miracle that you have made it this far through these uncivilized lands in one piece. What do you think? Yes! I mean, if it doesn't bother you, of course. Sure, it's uncivilized around here. I don't think I've ever seen a town get ransacked like that before. What are you talking about? The bridge town ahead was captured by a large armed band. I turned back as soon as I could, but some of their brutes chased me, and then I found you. Sounds like we may have to cleanse the town a bit before proceeding, then. Good plan. Gods, I never thought Talwin would fall like that. Defeat the bandit leader in Talwin. Okay. So, um, you're firmly settled in, which means that the best unit to fight you with is sprites and fire fairies with their magical attack. Who do I want to get the experience? Perhaps a fire fairy head up towards forest spirit level. Okay, down you go, and I can put a linear in your midst, and the linear will do some healing. You can't quite reach, but you don't need to worry so much. Everyone else, keep plowing ahead. And there, over there, we've got a village. Oh, and a wolf! Two wolves! Okay, one of the wolves can reach my sprite. Let's get some backup in place to uh, do some anti-wolf fighting. Uh, that's it. Uh, oh, you. Don't go too far off on your own. You ought to be safe there. Nothing is... unless, again, invisible backstabbers would be irritating. But I haven't seen them yet after the storm. Okay, we've got a sprite. Um, anyone else can reach the wolf? Yeah, you can reach the wolf. Good. And you? Can you? Ah, uh, it doesn't look like you quite can. Uh, sad. But what you can do is get into a situation where you soften the wolf up. And the other wolf could come out now. Maybe will. We'll see. Derva, new scout north. Have a fairy with you. Ah, okay. So we've got uh, foot pads. healing into one place so that Ilinia can be maximally efficient. You want to come over here and you stay behind Durban. All right. Oh. 
Wolf 2 gets bonked. Didn't visit the bottom left of this map. Maybe I should have done. Well, you go scouting up here. Okay, there's deep water up there. Looks like I can't get through. And you come back. And then now over here we'll have to be a bit more careful with how we position people. Action! Let's see some action. Okay. Yeah, why not? Oh. That was pretty poor for Millennia. What about Rodola the Fire Fairy? Oh, poor shame. Oh, for very much shame. Oh, no. What was that? Okay, this guy is really, really annoying. He's just done a lot of damage. So let's put some people who are a bit tougher in positions where they can block the worst of the damage. You can't quite get into Alinea's healing range without exposing yourself to uh, death. So you go there. And then I think we are good. You go there. And maybe you can come around here. If this... no, no one can reach that. people here so we're gonna have to play defensively <laughs> okay you suck Lots of people can reach down here. If I go around that flank, whoever sits there is going to get mullered. Can they try and brutalize Durvan? And more importantly, if they try, will they succeed? I'm going to put you there to block the uh, line of attack. I'll move you over here. Um... You can get all the way around. That's irritating. Let's have you go down here. So hopefully we won't have any backstabbing shenanigans. Are you a skirmisher? No, you're not. No, oh, these, these guys are not skirmishers, I forget. Okay, so then you can go there. You can start coming back around here. It's night time, so you're pretty useless, so you can keep scouting, okay? No way across the river. Not here, anyway. All right. OK. 
Okay, that guy was not going to last long. Hit him! Ah, oh, shadow boxing. Okay, it's quite a lot of these daft buggers. And it's night time still, fourth watch of the long dark. So it's bad timing. Still don't want to be too hasty. On the other hand... Okay, you're pretty weakened. Can you get this kill? Yes, you can. Good. Alright, uh, you... Would be nice if you stayed alive, but it's not really a necessity. Same for you. Alright, my... Thugs seem to be having a case of the cannot hit the toffee. I want to get rid of the thieves. Good. And maybe I can even dare put a fire fairy there if I bring someone else more worthless around here. In fact, even, even this plan... Oh, so many misses. Trouble with the misses. Yeah, I'm hilarious. I know. Um, a little bit worried about what's going on over here. Don't really want to rush everyone out of the forest to deal with it. You try and kill this uh, counterpart of yours. Alright, good. You'll probably die now, but... With honour. And, oh, you can get backstabbed. Yeah, you'll definitely die. <laughs> unless, hey, unless... Right, now you can't be backstabbed anymore, but um, but you can. So, no, you'll probably die, but you've got better defense. It's all falling into place. Okay, finally someone hits a flippin' thief. Okay, daylight breaks and we finally are in a position to push back. Yay, okay. I don't know if it's if there's any point giving you experience given given what happens next in this campaign, spoiler alert. But well, I did it, so You are endangering yourself a little bit by doing this, but Was that really only two hits? Yeah it was. Weak source. Okay. So now, you try and um, should I try and keep you alive? Is there any points? I might need I might need fodder later on, so I feel like I probably should. Okay, then you do this. Oh, 
only one hit. Okay. Nice. Okay. Now it's uh, it's on me to clean up down here. How best to do so? Hmm. Okay, this isn't going great. Nope, not great at all. Alright, I'm going to take a lot of losses next turn. Um, well, you can't even kill this guy. Ah, useless, useless. What do I keep paying you guys for? And I move you here because. It probably won't stop the thief from getting around and backstabbing someone, but I'll see. No, it won't. No! Actually, I thought that was a fire fairy, but it's not. It's just a sprite. So it's not the worst thing in the world if that sprite dies. Still, I'd rather it didn't happen. Alright, now I can... Uh... You grab that house. Use fire fairies to clear out annoying people like thieves in woods. You're doing well, you can get some experience too. tries to show how it's done, but uh, doesn't really succeed. <laughs> you go get health, you go get health. Okay, here we see a bandit. Um, now, if you come out and fight me and don't kill me, then I'll level up, which is obviously nice. You get health, and then we're good to go forward. Yeah! Something weird about the AI is that it really loves to attack units that are 100% definitely going to level up. I think it just likes to attack more experienced units, but the you know the kind of the upshot of this is this rather weird target prioritization where units who are so so experienced that they will definitely level. Yeah, you can't reach. You can't reach. That's annoying. Oh, you can reach. Okay. Got to be careful with you though. stuff. Oh. 
There's the kill, there's the level. We've got a fire fairy. The third one. And the civilian lady. No, you can come and attack this thief. And you can't quite reach, neither can you. That's a shame. Healing, more healing, more healing, block off the stupid footpad, go and attack the stupid footpad, or, or better, go and sit in these trees, and then you can go and, yeah, you can go and attack the stupid footpad. You will you will then get backstabbed if you do that, but, yeah, you can't, you can't be killed, I don't think, by, uh, by the units that are out here right now. This is, this bridge is immensely irritating. It's a, it's a one way it's a spot where only one person can can go across. Okay, can you get the kill? No. What happened to my strong resilient guy? You must have you must have got yourself killed while I wasn't looking. That's annoying. After after I tried so hard to keep you alive as well. Excellent. Now, however, I end up disposing of this t this person. Okay, up here there's a rogue. Um, Got to watch out for them. Skirmishes that can backstab. Another kill for my experienced fire fairy. Everyone missing over here. Whoever sits there can get stabbed. Do I want a fire fairy to get stabbed? Not really, but... Let's see if I can kill it from, from here. Yeah, good. If you want to come and attack the fire fairy from the water, that's fine. That, however, is not fine, because that's just you standing on the middle of the bloody bridge like a pillock. So I'm going to have to send in a linear. And push across this bridge, even though there's only one single file for crossing. Okay, this is going to take a while. I have to say, it's not really a decision I fully understand to design the map so that this happens towards the end of it. But there's many things in this world that I don't understand. Everyone else, get ready. Oh, you can fly across the river, that's cool. 
Okay. So then I don't then I don't object as much. Now I just have to be careful. This is still fine. And we'll get these fire fairies into position. So just shoot across next turn. You can actually go all the way across. Maybe it would be a good idea to just have you push. I can probably finish this scenario sooner. And I, I won't be recalling you, even though you're a strong, resilient footpad. Okay, and the other one runs away to heal. Interesting. Okay, so only the fairies can go onto this terrain, and it's night time, so they're going to get a bit shredded by throwing knives. Still, they should be able to do quite a lot of damage. I'll use this one who is the weakest. Unfortunately, only the strongest one is able to get round to the best position. But then again, if I can kill this rogue, it doesn't really matter. Like, then I can push past. Let's leave Alinea where she is. And Elinia balls it up somewhat. You amazingly need four hits to do this, and you oh you're just a sprite, that's why. Okay, so you're not the most experienced, you're just a sprite. You're the most experienced. Send you back. Bring you out. Yeah, I mean four of four is uh, a lot worse odds. Done, three of five, and there we have it. So, now, some more expendable units can come across the bridge and get into decent positions. My intelligent, resilient outlaw can take this position. And hopefully we'll bait a lot of fire. Puts... Buok the thug here. I would quite like to be able to level you up, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. And then that usefully blocks access. So I can put this sprite here. And if you're there, then that means that the only person who can, the only two people who can attack you are the leader and this um, and this footpad, which means that if the leader wants to come out and stand in the in the water here, good for him. Uh, I will happily kill him next turn. Same for you. I'm going to put you there. Maybe make you a tempting target. And what I can't do, at least not without risking my units, is put someone over here. Which is a shame, but, uh, but well. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, I didn't think you'd be able to reach her. That's really annoying. Okay. So I fucked that up. Okay, I think that's my first level 2 loss of the campaign. Um, but now, the leader is sitting in water. Unfortunately, I can't quite capitalize on it because I'm not really... I'm in a position where things are challenging. Well, let's use a linear. So 
Do 40 damage. You could get the kill even, if you got lucky. More likely though... have been in vain. Ugh. And you, Adola, now that you've got the kill, um, will be a... I mean, because you're intelligent and quick, you don't have many hit points, which makes me a bit reluctant to make you a forest spirit. I've never had a dryad. I don't tend to go for them because because they tend to suck. So I'm, I'll go for you now. Onwards we go. To the capital. So are you truly the Lady of Light? I've heard many amazing stories about you. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? And 203 bonus gold. Okay. Wasn't too bad. Check out statistics. Losses 11. All level 1 apart from all level 0 apart from this fire fairy. Um, who was, you know, that was unnecessary. Having said that, I do have another... I do have two other fire fairies. Um, I, well, I have a dryad. I have a fire fairy. I've got a sprite over here that's doing pretty well on experience. Um, I've got, got three outlaws. I seem to never lack for outlaws in this campaign. What I don't have is any bandits yet. And I lost my strong, intelligent thug stupidly in an earlier... Strong, resilient thug stupidly in an earlier battle. Um, again, I could have milked this for more experience, but I didn't actually think that Rodola was going to take down the leader in that uh, in that way. She had to hit with all five, and she did. Um, so nice work, Rodola. And onward we go, indeed. Next time.